friends welcome back to jk dentis today we are going to learn about growth and development and its principles and concepts this topic falls under the category of orthodontics first we would like to know what do you mean by growth growth means change in size or you can say change in proportion or change in number or you can say increase in number increase in number is a definition given by todd so basically what do you mean by growth growth means if i have a ball it has a size of 2 it is of this size when it grows it increases in size and it becomes this big okay that means it is increasing in size it is increasing in proportion what do you mean by development development means progress towards maturity what do you mean by that it means i have a ball okay and it was like it was a new ball okay after 2 years when i'll see that ball there can be some uh, uh, rash on the ball it will not be that new it means in that 2 years it has changed it has seen change to something that is development it is progress towards maturity okay growth talks about size and development talks about maturity now there is one more term that is what we call as differentiation what do you mean by differentiation differentiation means a normal cell okay if there is a normal cell and it is this way it will become some a specialized cell that is it will change its form this is called as differentiation so what we have learned we have learned about what is growth what is development and what is differentiation now we will learn about which are the factors which is affecting growth and development so what are the factors which will affect the growth first factor is hereditary factor okay so first is hereditary what do you mean by that it means genes you will see in some families there are short height children in some families there are tall height children it means their genetics is affecting the growth the second is nutrition obviously if you will not get the correct nutrition correct proteins appropriate carbohydrates and all those things then will be there will be nutritional deficiency which will affect the growth then what other things the nutritional deficiency is also connected with socio economic status yeah if the family is not well to do if they cannot feed their children appropriately then the growth will be affected then it is also connected to large family size it means in a family there are more number of children so it becomes difficult for the parents to look after the growth of each and every child then it also affects the large family size then there are number of factors which will affect the growth the one of the factor there is one term called as secular trends secular trends means for example in the 1950 to 1960 the growth of the children were uh, appropriate you will see it will be decided on the basis of the resource of level at that time but now if you will see in the year 2000 in the dk the growth is good because the number of resources are good facilities are good comparing the two times that is we secular trends means we are comparing large population over a period of time that's why we are using the term trends and that is secular trends a population trend so these are the various factors which can affect growth now we will see four important points related to growth we'll see that four different things we are going to learn is normalcy rhythm of growth growth spurt and differential growth we will see one by one what it means normalcy what do you mean by normalcy it means which should be usual utna hona chahiye it means it is a range okay i'll explain what it is for example at age of 13 years child's height must be 5 feet but it is it can be 5 feet okay it is not necessary it if, if he is having a height of 4.5 then it will also be considered as normal that is it is in the range okay 
And what do you mean by ideal? It means what he ho na chahi. It means it must be 10. Okay, that is the difference between the range and ideal. And normalcy falls in range. That is growth falls in normalcy. That means growth have a range. It is not something related ideal. It is in a range. Okay, that is the concept of normalcy. Then we will move to the concept of rhythm. Growth have a rhythm. It follows a rhythm of. You have to see it as first rapid, then slow, then accelerated, and then final. We'll see it in detail. Initially, at the time of birth, from one to five years, the growth is rapid. Okay? Then, after that, growth slows down. In the boys, till the year of 10 to 12 years, and in the girls, till 10 years. The growth is in a slow, steady phase. After that, it follows a rhythm where it becomes accelerated again. In the girls, it gets accelerated in the year of 14 to 16, and in the boys, it is in 16 to 18 years. After that, Growth is attained to its final level in girls by the age of 18 to 20 years and in boys it is up to 25 years. So you should know how is the pace of the growth. It is R S A F. Rapid, slow, accelerated, final. So you should remember the years. How is the pattern of growth? This is what we call as rhythm of growth. How the growth follows. Now we will see about growth spurts. Growth spurts is generally seen in adolescence. And it is basically influenced by changing hormonal levels. Okay. We will see the growth spurts in detail. What do you mean by growth spurt? It means accelerated growth in short. Because it is influenced basically by hormones. The first growth spurt, it occurs before birth. The second growth spurt occurs one year after birth. The third growth spurt, it occurs in the mixed dentition period. So, what is that? For boys, and I'll write it here, for girls. For girls, it is 7 to 9 years. And for boys, it is 8 to 11 years. You can remember this as girls first go for the maturation, you can say, or for the growth period, growth spurts. And after that, boys goes. To remember this number, you can remember it is as 7, 8, 9, then 11. To remember it while writing the answers, you should not get confused. That's why I'm giving you the trick. Okay? Then there is pre-pubertal growth spurt. What do you mean by that? It means when they are attaining puberty. At that time, there is growth spurt. And for the boys and then the girls. The girls are the first who will attain the growth. Okay? That is the growth spurt. That is the puberty. That will occur by the age of 11 to 13 years. Okay, it is less for the girls and the boys it is 14 to 16 years which will take for them to attain the puberty. So this was about growth spurt, how it occurs from the birth, before birth, birth, the mixed dentition period and the pre-pubertal phase. This is a very important question for the MCQs as well as for the SAQs. Now we will see the different stages of the growth spurt. I would like to tell you in the mixed dentition period or you can say in the pre-pubertal period when there is growth occurring we can go for orthodontic corrections of the teeth we can go for the functional appliances for the teeth that is the best period for the treatment but we cannot go for the surgical correction we need to complete the growth spurts completely needed to go till final period for going for any surgical period. Why? Because the growth is still happening and we cannot affect that. Okay? Now we'll see what are the stages. In the stage 1 for the girls, what happens? There is development of breast buds. There is development of small thin pubic hairs. They are very thin. What happens in the boys? They start gaining weight. There is lots of fat in the bodies of the boys. In the second stage, what happens? 
there is development of breast there is development of axillary hairs and the pubic hairs which we are very thick thin will come thick but in boys what happens they have growth of premies they will also have hairs on the upper lips in the pattern of the hairs will be thin initially in the third stage there will be complete development of breasts then the girls will have menses that will the period then that they will attain the growth spurt in the 11 to 13 years in the boys there will be full grown period they will start developing beards the voice will change they will have some hoarseness in the voice okay they will be having thick hairs their pubic hairs will be there thick as well as the axillary hairs in this way there is stages of growth that is growth spurt now i will tell you about differential gradient of 